Hello everyone, my name is Linda Gunna. I am the CEO and founder of Linda's Perfection Creations. Linda's Perfection Creations is an event planning and wedding decor company. We cater to small and large events in and around the Philadelphia area. We do full service partial, month of coronations. We do destination weddings. We also do planning and decor. So how my packages work, we meet my clients on the stages that they are. Some people may want planning, some people might want decor. Some people might just want floral arrangement and so on and so forth. So I tell them my packages to meet the need because I understand not every two clients are alike. Um, Today is a little challenging day for me because for the last couple of days I've been planning for a major event. Um, so I know I'm a little late getting the videos to you guys, but it just, you know, as I stated before, it's wedding season. So it's, it's, it's always hectic for me. So this is when I really feel like this challenge is get taken a toll because I'm like, oh my God, I have to do these videos. But there's so much work behind the scenes that I have to do for this event. And the past few days has been, you know, one of, because I have a wedding, I literally have five events in the space of two weeks. I know I have something on the 15th, the 16th, and then I have the 22nd, the 24th, and then I have the, the next week, I have the 28th, the 26th. So it's, it's crazy. So trying to, and you know, everything is in July. And everything is in that's excluding all the other ones that I have coming up in August. And so it's, it's, it's you know, June, you know, it's, this is what it is. So it's really hectic. But anyway, I'm going to talk about what I decided to talk to you guys about today is still a question you need to ask your wedding planner. Yesterday, we'll talk about questions you need to ask your petition and your photo um, makeup artist. So when you hire your wedding planner, most people got this misconception that when you hire your wedding planner, most of the time, they always decor. That's not necessarily the cute truth. Some wedding planner on or event planner, I should say, on it, coordinate and plan events. And there are some people who do decor. Yes, I'll most I'll say some wedding planner combine it too because of other reasons. And you know, I can go more into that a little time. But you need to one thing you need to ask them what level of service are they providing. That's the first thing you need to know. What services do they offer? And second thing, you need to all sort that. Okay, do they do the core aspect? If they do the core aspect, oh, oh, God. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> you need to understand they do the core aspect. And and if that's something that, because for me, let me just break it down for me. My planning and my decor, even though I do the both, they are two separate en entities. The cost for them is totally different. Because that's too heavy. Prior. You hire me to plan and hire me to decor is two different things. So sometimes people may not understand that. Well, well, I'm hiring for them combining it. Yes, you might be combining it, but the packages are different. Um, for example, if you're hiring some people, I would say some people usually do maybe on the artificial flowers. So sometimes it's easier um, for them to just say, oh, we'll bring it in the table, the chairs or whatever, and everything that needed, and that's packaged. But sometimes it's different. If you are using a florist who's using fresh flowers, you will pay for the services, the labor, and the, the equipment to rent, but you still have to pay for your flowers. But if, um, all the flowers that need to be made to decor for your event, that's a separate price that's not included in your budget. Because as a wedding decor person, we don't have any control of the market, how the flower market and how things go. So those are things, costs that you need to make sure that you're aware of. So those are some of the questions you want to ask them. And then another thing is that do they, when you hire your wedding planner, do they, are they going to bring you vendors? That's another question. Are they going to, what are the services? What all do they comes with a hiring them? What are the benefits of having a wedding planner or hiring that person as a planner? And then also you want to know is how many visits do you get? And when I mean visit, I mean by appointment. When you hire a planner, you're supposed to get a setting amount of visits, whether are two, what are five, what are seven, what are, based on what type of package you pay, it's different. These visits are one where you get to meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, to sit there and go over detail as for your plan, or if you're going to any appointments, maybe your dress fittings, or maybe to see your venue appointment, you get access to the planner to be able to 
to go where you do this visit since they have their experience they have the knowledge their food tasting they can be the best person to be alongside with you when you are going to major appointments like these because they know all the tricks and tools that can get you the things that you need so you need to ask them how many appointments or how many visits do i get you know at that same and then another question you want to ask is that okay are there any additional costs for travel costs if i have to if you have to travel a certain distance how many miles do you have to cover travel that's included in the cost or that's not included in the cost those are things you want to know travel expenses if you're waiting inside a state you want to make sure it's a destination wedding what are some of the things that is, is included what's not included what is your travel cost so you have to bring a system with you you also need to ask on the day of coronation which is the day of the wedding how many staff are they bringing with them is it just going to be them is it going to be multiple people those are things you need to know and then also in regards to your vendor are they the one that finding all the vendors for you and then you just pay them to hire those vendors or I did like a liaison for me I'm more of a liaison so if you want or uh, let's say a photographer I have preferred vendors that I work with I'm not associated with anybody I do vend them out to make sure they are right I'm not getting paid I'm not getting any personal choices what do you use them or you don't use them but it's my job to give you the best person that's within your budget and once I find a person I will be there to introduce you to that person if you like for that person, I will then they will go take over. You'll talk about your contracts, you'll talk about your details, and then you know, but it's I help you find this, but I don't bring it along and say, Okay, well you just pay me for every services and then I pay. I personally won't do that, but everybody's different because you want to meet all these professionals that this person is giving you. What if they bring somebody to do something that you don't know? Now, the setting things that it's easier for the wedding planner to bring so or the core person i should say like for example up lightings and and you dancing a cloud machine those are little things that you really don't need to see this person or you really don't but if it's something like you know your dd your photographer your caterer those are people you want to meet in person so i would strongly recommend you do that and then one of the most important questions you need to ask them that can it work within your budget so for me once I meet a client and I ask them the basics, the data, the events, because I want to make sure before I even start talking to you, if I have that data available, I don't want you to go through the whole process and then I can't even help you. That just waste your time and waste my time. So if we pass all the, in a little format of the data, the event, the time, the thing, one thing, the next question after I ask them, what is your budget? What is your budget you're trying to spend for your wedding? What is your budget you're trying to spend on the event planner to cater to this event? So once I know that budget, then and ask them see if some people might be willing to work within your budget. Some people may not be willing to work within your budget. And you have to be realistic. You can't be planning a wedding of a hundred people and then you're talking about you have a ten thousand dollars budget. It's not gonna work. You have to be realistic. The average cost of writing right now is about $35,000 for that size of party because unless you're trying to do something very small, very simple, then I understand, but just a venue alone, some venue might cost you about $4,000 to $5,000. That's just on rented space. Some high that's eighteen to 20000 based on what you want. And then you're thinking about catering, the food, let's say maybe $100 per person, anything from 101 like that minimum per person maybe you might find some places maybe 75 or 89 some places um but so you do the math that's seven thousand nine or ten thousand dollars already so your budget is already maxed out so you have to be realistic with what you want and you know because that will get you as far as you need to so ask the right question if you don't know what question you can go on read google you to ask what are some of the questions I need to add a wedding planner. Make sure that okay, are you gonna do my RSVP? Are you gonna do my invitation? Are you going to you know so some planner do order that, some planner they do that for extra cost based on the package you pick is included, some is not. Ask every single detail of what all are included in your services so you know exactly what are you are paying for 
or know if this client is your best fit, not just going on based on what somebody tells you. But that's all for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Linda Gunner. You can follow me on my website at www.lindaperfectcreationsevent.com. Thank you and have an amazing day.